Hello Curious Minds, I'm Miles Maxer, and welcome back to the Ant Network. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to build a fairly simple wooden formicarium. Now wood ant nests don't work for every ant species. They're primarily for ants that are either arboreal or they live in fairly dry cavity nests. This includes some species within the genera Pseudomyrmex, Campanotus, Chromatogaster, Cephalodes, just to name a few. Now, if you're not sure if your ants are compatible with a wooden nest like the one we're going to make today, I recommend that you stick with something more like our lab-style formicaria, the petri dish nests. I recently found this little tiny Campanotus queen, so today I'm going to be designing and building based off of her needs. Our viewers are always looking for easy and economical ways to keep ants, so I've tried to keep this tutorial fairly simple and to make sure that I'm not using tons of tools or inaccessible materials. When designing the formicarium, you'll want to make sure that your main nest block is at least as thick as your queen is tall, so that she will be able to move about freely. This nest will be placed inside of an outworld, so we want to make sure that it will fit with plenty of room to spare. Remember the old adage, measure twice, cut once. We will need a base, a nest block, side trim, and glass or acrylic. You can get all of these materials at a local hardware store or through the links in the description. I'm going to sketch the tunnels and chambers using a pencil. Because this is only for a queen and an incipient colony, I'm going to keep it fairly small. You can use a rotary tool like a Dremel to create the chambers in the wood, but I'm going to carefully cut mine using a bandsaw. Always wear protection and ask for help if you don't have experience using power tools. Now that I've created the nest block, it's time to secure it to the base using some wood glue. A little goes a long ways for a project like this. Once I've got that clamped, I can use these trim pieces to create guards that will keep the glass or acrylic in place. Using just a bit of wood glue, I attach these to three sides, making sure not to cover the entrance. Now that our glue is dry, we can add our acrylic cover and prepare the outworld. I'm using a tray from the container store, but you can use just about any container. I've simply added a small layer of sand to the bottom of the container and a few decorations as well. Be sure to place the nest on flat substrate, but the most important thing to remember is that they need to be provided with a constant water source. This can be accomplished by placing a water tube in the outworld. We don't want a moist chamber in the nest itself, as that will inevitably promote mold and bacterial growth. Instead of using a test tube, I cut a hole in my acrylic cover so I can use a Tar Heel Ant's nest mate as a water source. If you want to use laser cut materials like I do, you can use a free vector graphics tool such as Inkscape and import your designs into Pinoco, which is an accessible laser cutting service. It may not be economical to use it for every single design that you come up with, but it can be useful in situations like this one. I also had a red plate cut to help keep the growing colony comfortable in a darker nest. Now that our nest is set up, I will simply move the queen inside. Since this species is fully claustral, I'm going to plug the entrance with some cotton to ensure that the queen stays in the nest. If you are caring for a semi-claustral species, such as Pseudomyrmex, you can provide food in the outworld, preferably near the entrance so it's easy for her to find it. Keep in mind that it is more difficult to control the temperature in a nest setup like this, so keeping the room warmer or using a heating pad on one side can help speed up brood development in some species. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a bit about housing ants in wooden formicaria and that you've been inspired to think creatively for your next DIY project. Just remember, that the needs of the animals must be your top priority. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to let us know down in the comments. Thanks again, stay safe everybody, and happy anting.